If we could somehow look at every single face of every single person, would there be someone that is more attractive than everyone else? Better yet, is there someone out there that has the perfect face with perfect proportions, skin care, overall appeal, or is beauty subjective with different ideals for different people, with beauty ultimately in the eye of the beholder? So no, it turns out there is a mathematical way to gauge somebody's attractiveness and that answer comes from TikTok. You see, a couple months ago, there was this trend of taking this perfect face template, which for now, let's agree that this is indeed the perfect face. I mean, look at it and superimposing it on a subject that we can then distort and stretch and morph until they too look perfect, just like the perfect face template. And through this process, we not only have the initial condition, in other words, the original photo and the final condition, which, uh, ew, uh, but we also have the transformation that brings us from here to here, meaning the longer this transformation is, the more smearing we have to do, the less perfect this must have been. And if there's a tiny transformation, these two must have been pretty similar to begin with, and it's through this that we can measure how attractive the original photo must have been. More specifically, if we invoke a coordinate system on this image and then distort these initial coordinates, which will then in turn manipulate the face, we can then measure how far each pixel has traveled, where you basically want to read this map as the more white you see, the more fucking ugly you must be. And after using this method a bunch to run some very real scientific uh, mathematical analysis, I found out that indeed I am more attractive than Ariana Grande, Channing Tatum, more attractive than anybody really, so... Uh, yeah, there you go.